Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you purge Peachtree Companies, you remove inactive customers, vendors, employees, jobs, quotes, invoices, purchases, and other items from your company file. You can only purge the information for fiscal years that are closed. This will clear space on your computer by reducing the overall file size. You can purge your company file at any time. Some good times to purge would be at the close of the fiscal year or the payroll tax year. However, since the purge process may take a long time to complete, you should start it at the end of your business day, making sure that you leave your computer running. You should also make sure that all other applications are closed prior to performing the purge. You use the Purge Wizard to assist you in the process of purging your company file. The wizard simplifies the process by prompting you for all of the necessary information. You must create a backup before purging your company file. Peachtree actually recommends that you create two backups, one for the current file and one to store off-site in case of emergencies. The Purge Wizard helps you facilitate this process by allowing you to create the needed backups. It is also worthwhile to note that this is not the process that you would use to repair corrupt data. That would be restoring your company from a backup file. Peachtree also recommends that if you have extensive data, you may want to consider purging in sections rather than all at once. This allows for shorter, controlled sessions of purging, which save time and memory resources. To start the purge, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to System, and then choose the Purge Wizard command. This will bring up the window, Purge Wizard Welcome. It shows you the date of the most recently closed fiscal and payroll years. Just as with any other wizard, you simply click the Back and Next buttons to step through the wizard, answering the questions and responding to the prompts. Click the Next button to continue after you've read the information on the Welcome screen. This will bring up the Backup Company Data screen. Here you can choose to create one or preferably two copies of your company backup files to have on hand before proceeding. To include your company name in the backup file, select the Include Company Name in the Backup File Name checkbox. Then click the Backup button to decide where you want to save your Peachtree backup file. In the Save Backup As window, you can use the look-in drop-down at the top of the window to navigate to the folder where you want to store the file. You can rename the file if desired by using the File Name text box. Peachtree gives you a default name that includes the name of your company file and the date. Simply click the Save button when you're ready. Peachtree will then tell you the size of the backup file if you're saving it to the computer, or the number of diskettes you'll need if you're using diskettes. Just click the OK button. The backup will then occur. If you are saving to diskettes, the program will prompt you as to when you should switch disks. Just keep them labeled and in sequential order. Don't interrupt the backup process as this may corrupt the data. Then click the Next button to continue after you've made your backups. This will take you to the Old Transactions screen. Here you select the transactions that you want to purge. First, enter the date on or before which the transactions can be purged. In the Transactions group box, select the transactions that you want to purge. You can delete receivables, quotes, invoices, and receipts, payables, POs and Peachtree Accounting Incomplete, purchases and payments, payroll, such as payroll transactions, general journals, so the journals and their entries, audit trails in Peachtree Complete only, used tickets, time and expense tickets used in payroll and sales, but only in Peachtree Complete, and unused tickets, which are unused time and expense tickets. Also enter a date on or before which such tickets can be purged. When you're finished, just click the Next button to continue. This will bring up the Account Reconciliation screen. This lets you select whether you want to do account reconciliation or not. If you do, you decide which accounts you need to reconcile before the purge. You would select the Yes option to reconcile, or select the No option to skip the reconciliation. If you select Yes, you must select the accounts that you wish to reconcile prior to purging. For each account category, such as cash, you can double-click the black arrow to display a drop-down of the individual accounts. For any accounts that haven't been reconciled in the past, they will be marked by default. You can select the checkbox to place a red check next to any accounts that you want to reconcile. 
If an account is selected here, any transactions that use the account but are not reconciled regardless of date will not be purged. When you're ready, just click the next button to continue. This will bring up the inactive maintenance records screen. This lets you decide the types of inactive maintenance records to purge. You can only purge inactive records if they are not used in transactions and also have zero balances. Select the checkbox next to the types of inactive records you wish to purge. When you're ready, click the next button to continue. This will then bring up the summary of options screen. Here you see a summary of the different options that you set for the purge. If you're satisfied with your selected options, then just click the Begin Purge button to begin the purge. If you're not satisfied, you can click the Back button to return to the previous screens and change any options that you need to. When you click the Begin Purge button, a window appears that lets you know that the purge wizard is removing your old company data. You can see the progress in the middle of the window. Now when the purge is complete, it will announce that the purge is complete. To see a detailed log, you can click the Log button. To close it when you're finished, click the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.